Hi, this is Tamara Lackey for Adorama TV, and in this episode of Redefine, I speak with fine art wedding and portrait photographer Parker Pfister. We discuss how he uses light to dramatic effect by skillfully employing what he sees, and then he walks us through how exactly he builds a shot, light by light by light. Check it out. Adorama TV presents The Redefined Show with Tamara Lackey. Hi, Parker. Hey, Tamara. How are you? Hey, Parker. You doing well? I'm doing great. Good. I want to talk to you about your work. I'm really excited about this conversation because your work is good and it's inspiring and it's cool. Thanks. And, you, and you've kind of done this uh, little hiatus kind of thing recently, right? I have. I, I took a little break. Yes. I, um, Why? It was a reset. It was... Um, it was, um, I took a break, I should say, I didn't take a break from working, I'm actually working more. Right. I took a break from sharing and from educating because I just felt like, I always compare it to a lemming, you know, the suicidal animals that just go off a Over cliff the and they yeah. just follow each other and that's all it is. And I was kind of on the outside of the herd so I had a chance to veer off before I got to the cliff. And I wanted to make work and I wanted to have a message to share with other photographers that was honest and true to me. Mm -hmm. And so I could be honest and true to them. And it's something fresh. It's just not regurgitated information in a pretty package. It's part of the artist's artist, you know, journey, you know, from the cave wall to now, yeah. you know, Trog and Ugg in the cave, they're, they're watching each other paint the, the buffalo, you know, with the sphere. And, like, how you and that's how they copy, you know, and that's part of the artist's life. And, but you got to know when to turn that off and be your own artist yeah. and put your blinders on. That's one of the hardest things to at, do. It is. Because we're inundated with photography now. It's literally everywhere. Yes. So just, you know, I, for the last four or five years, I haven't been to the internet. Well, I've, clearly I've been to the internet. And I'm <laughs> not calling this? it the interweb yet. <laughs> so, you know, man? I'm not that guy. But it's, <laughs> it confuses me. <laughs> I, uh, I just don't look. I don't look anymore. And I look to myself and I look to my failures to make newer stuff, newer images. And what would you say um, if you had to... I mean, obviously, it's not just one thing. But if you had to summarize and say, this is the one thing I, I, I care to convey, what do you think that is? To convey in my photographs? That, you, that, that means something to you to create and that you want people to understand you're trying to convey. Mm, there's nothing I really want to share except a story. The story it's a story. But it's not the kind of story that most people think. It's like, oh, the story of the ring bearer, the story of this. The story is what I'm writing. It's mostly fiction what I write. And so I just come up with these storylines and I make a photograph that, that that's the representative, that's the personification of this story. And it's, um, and it's up to them to decide what they get out of it. It's how sure. they read it. So um, walk me through that a little bit. We ha you have a scene. Maybe okay. give us a scene. A uh, scene. Uh, I, I, um, Ha ha. So, okay, for the last two years, I have been doing a series on angels, mm -hmm. and especially this one particular angel, and it's her, her story from the, the, the very top of her existence to the very depths of her demise. Okay. And I create these little stories about her, like how she maybe went to the dark side, and then how she uplifted out of that, and... Um, the final one, uh, which isn't the final one, but the last one I did was two weeks ago, and it was the fraudulent angel. She's lost her wings. She has to wear these fake wings, and it's representative. You know, I put it all in there, and I just wrote this story yes. and kind of made the image feel that way, but then sent it out to 15 friends to get their perspective on it. Right. And what I got back was just amazing, and I shared it in my show this morning, and it was, you know, you got to see everybody, art subjective. And it all read differently. Everybody read it completely different, but they all had a connection to it. They understood how that represented part of their life, and it represents all of us in a way. Right. And so I'm always creating these stories, and that's more my fine artwork. Yes. And then carrying that around and sharing that kind of storyline with portraits and weddings and things like that make it a little unique, I think. 
And, and this this more conceptual work where you're writing the it story is. and you're yep. displaying is that I'm, is that I'm the just director, personal I'm project? The, is that uh, some? Do you have an intention? I, I of consider what's it my future. Your future. Yep. Right now it's personal project. This is my future. I'm uh, shooting more for galleries, museums, things like that. I've had a couple of wonderful interviews with curators. That that's kind of the direction where it's going. Interesting. And, and is that going to be your sole direction, or in addition to still doing weddings? Because you have a, a, a strong wedding business too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm a very small wedding business, though. I'm very, um, you know, I only do 10 weddings a year. So that affords me to do all the other things that I do. And I shoot 10 or 15 portraits a year, and that's about it. And you, um, you are a welcome guest to the Biltmore. Apparently, you, you, you're the one person who's seen the back part of the Biltmore estate. I, I, I have. I, what is that exactly? I, you know, it's just back there. It doesn't exist, actually. It like doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And but it's, it's about this, the same size as the part that does exist. This dimension, yeah, it is. That's fascinating. Mm. That's very interesting. Mm. And then, because you're in Nashville, North Carolina, I am. And that's that's where that yeah, I get to play. It's like the little playground there. It's beautiful, amazing people. Yeah. So yeah. coming 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 out of this hiatus, mm -hmm. um, are you planning to start sharing and being a lot more? I mean, you already are on Instagram. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I just started with the social media mm -hmm. stuff and. Um, I do want to share a little more. It's uh, it's it, it's it's part of the the reset, and yeah. I'm getting used to it slowly, the surely. Reset. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. It's like a new phase. It is a new phase. And, and you're doing good. workshops again. You said you're just doing starting workshops yet. again. Yep, I'll be announcing those in a couple of weeks. And um, I've always done two a year. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one education that I kept going with. Right. That's the one thing I didn't give up because it's more. You know, it's personal, and I can really help somebody, I think, in three to four days. Yes. Um, this year, i probably got a plan on three. I've gotten so much response to yeah. people wanting to do it, and I haven't set dates yet. So I'll probably do three this year, or maybe even four. I don't know. Yeah. Can you, um, uh, when, if people want to find out more about you, I know we're, you're about to do something really cool, which is to walk through some of your images and tell us your thought process and how you created sure, it and all sure. your stuff. Um, but before we go to that, can you tell us where people can find out more about you? Um, well, my website is parkerjphoto.com. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook, I'm using a little bit. Yeah. It's you're um, on the you're on the Facebook. I'm, I'm on the Facebook. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Um, it, I I don't know who I am on there though. I, I think just Parker J Photo again. Yeah. Okay. I guess. And then Instagram, I seem to use more than anything because I speak in images. That's right. my first language. This language usually doesn't come out. Although it's really working for you right now. Mm, it's super, nicely done. super. Yeah. Yeah. And Instagram um, is what? What's your username? Yeah, I'm not sweating. Uh, Parker, I, I think it's Parker J. Fister. Perfect. Yeah. OK. All right, great. So let's, uh, let's walk through some images. OK. Well, this image is kind of representative of just how I see light a little bit differently. Um, I know at the Biltmore State, since we've already discussed that, they have a policy. If it's 30% chance of rain, they're putting up a tent. Even if it doesn't rain and it clears up, you're shooting under a tent, and now we've got like 18 stops different between the bright sunny day, because it's always gorgeous outside, the bright sunny day outside, and now they have to stand underneath a tent, so they're in the shade. So either we bring a ginormous power pack to light everything, or we just expose on their faces and just let the background go where it is and then try to bring back a little bit of that. Or we just see light a little differently. You know, get out of the mindset of you have to see all the detail, you have to do all that and do an image a little differently and it's the exact same scene, just seen differently and reacting differently to the light. And I think it's much more dramatic that way. That way, you know, we've got the silhouette of the rings coming in and it's just a, different, a whole different mood to the image, and I think it's much more powerful. We don't need to see the expression on the face. We can almost read it with just their, their silhouette profiles, and I think it makes it more interesting and you know less obvious, and I'm always about the not so obvious. Then I've got this image. I think uh, this demonstrates like you know learning your lighting and really um, testing out different lighting scenarios and, and building your, your own particular style in lighting. Um, for this particular image, I have an old Mole Richardson light, which is like this old uh, Hollywood light that I've taken the grid off of and put a Nikon speed light, SV900, in there. And so that's my first light coming through. So it's doing two things. It's giving a little bit of rim light to the model. 
And it's also saying, hey, I'm using this old, really cool light, which I'm really not. The reason I didn't use the light is because it's a 2,000 watt light. A little bit hot and I'd have to bring everything up and it's going to catch our model on fire. So then I introduced the second light, which brings the second little rim light around. So we're kind of building it up as we go here. So for the next light, it's the key light. So now we've got three lights going on. And then the fourth light we'll do in the background. I put a little red gel in there. The fifth light, I put another Nikon SB900 in the trunk. I didn't happen to have a red filter around, so I went into the dark room, took my safe light cover off, and put it over the SB900. So now we've got this really warm red light coming out of the trunk that she's stepping out of. And now for the, I think the fifth, sixth light, there's two grid spots going around, uh, raking across the front, and that's lighting the lower half where the key light isn't, which is a beauty dish up above. Um, and now we've also entered a little globe over here to give a little interest. And all we have to do is work on our pose and we've got our shot and that's straight out of camera. And there's no post done. So it's all within lighting. We give our images dimension. That's what photography is. Thanks so much, Parker, for that excellent walkthrough. And thank you for tuning in to Redefine Show. Don't forget to join me next time here on Adorama TV and subscribe to Adorama TV for all kinds of excellent content by some of the most learned photographers in the field. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.